Hey up, how are you? Um, today was going to be Colonel Sanders Day, wasn't it? Or Colonel Sanders, Kentucky Fried Chicken Man, whatever he's called. Uh, I'm sat in the car, I'm not driving, engine's off, handbrake's on, everything's safe. Bit of sun in my eyes, but that's okay. Always put the wayfarers down if necessary. Um, yeah, it was going to be Colonel Sanders Day. Um, but, judging by the reaction... I mean, a reaction's good, I suppose. People don't want to hear any more contrite little stories about successful old age people or young people. Um, because I've had three emails from people who will remain anonymous going, Oh, it's all right for you. It's all right for you. You don't understand. Anna's had two. Jack's had one. And all saying pretty much the same thing. Steve doesn't understand. It's fine for him. Yes, he may be old, but he's not as old as us, or he's had the advantage of this, or it's different, blah, 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 blah. D don't care, all right? Re sorry, I know that sounds right. Don't care. Um, if you know why you need to do this, you will find a way of overcoming those fears. All right? It's as simple as. Um, and that's all it is that's stopping you. It's not uh, the lack of education. It's not the number of years. It's not the lack of tread on your tyres. It's not the amount of hair you've got. Uh, the old thing about hair, you know, people that are bald all over, people that are bald down the sides. It's all a load of crap. If you're bald on top, well, you're sexy. If you're bald down the sides, it's because you're a thinker. If you're bald all over, it's just because you think you're sexy. It, it's just... Uh, any excuse is as good as another and what you need to do is find a way to help yourself deal with these fears and all fear is is false evidence appearing real right what I'm going to do I'm going to put a link to two different books that have helped me beyond measure one I was reading 20 years ago by Susan Jeffers called feel the fear and do it anyway and that is about knowing why you're scared, how to deal with it, and just working your way through the fear. The other is a book I was introduced to by Jay Kuberzak. And honestly, I resisted that book for months. It's the Stuart Lickman book, How to Get Lots of Money for Anything Fast. It's a really crap title. Well, it's a very good title because it does exactly what it says on the tin. Uh, if you want to learn how to do anything, you need to write things down. You need to get it into here you need to sort this out basically all right so the link for both books will be in the description for the video if you're watching this on facebook i'll put the links in there as well um i'm really sorry if i've caused offense well no i'm not actually because you need to hear it all right um young old fat thin bald what's the opposite of bald hairy herbaceous there's a proper word for it i can't remember um, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Her suit is the one we're thinking of, isn't it? Her suit or smooth. I don't give a rip. You know, you can have a cauliflower here, broken nose and one eye in the middle of your forehead. If you believe you can, you will. If you know why, you'll bloody well find out how. Okay? Grab one of those two books. Better still grab them both because they work really well together. If you've got any more doubts, I want to say, contact me and we'll arrange an appointment. But what I don't want you to do is contact me and tell me how you're different and how your fears are real and nobody else's are. Because um, I don't want to hear it, to be honest with you. You really need to go and give that speech to yourself in the bathroom mirror. Because you're the one who needs to hear what you've got to say. You're the one that needs to hear your excuses for why you're not going to do this. That sounds really bad, but actually, I can't help you until you've made a decision. Once you've made that decision, once you've identified your reason why, and you're starting to be sensible and saying, OK, I know I'm scared, but I really want to do this anyway, then we'll work, together. We'll, we'll work it out, all right? But as long as you're just making excuses, look... I've got a split fingernail today, I can't make money. It's pathetic, isn't it? 
But really, any excuse is as good as another, alright? So enough of this. Deal with it. Or scroll on by, alright? This isn't a club for people to join in and feel good about feeling crap. This is seriously about helping you to create financial security through digital marketing, okay? Tomorrow I'm going to start leading into next week's subjects, which is going to, I'm going to look at um, email marketing, specifically broadcasting, and then we'll get into the tricks, or not the tricks, the incredible array of tools that you've got in Aweber, that everybody just buys Aweber, shoves names in, and then doesn't use it. Okay, so we're going to look at that. All right, Steve Greenhouse, stevegreenhouse.com. Seriously, here to help you to create financial security through digital marketing. Take care. Bye.